Right, uh, Joe here again. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to create multiple XML files from an Excel file. So you're faced with a scenario here where you have an Excel file with some data. Okay, so the three columns, city, area, population, with the actual data containing them. Now, we can create a file that on its own uh, with this data in it, and basically that will give you all the information, but not an XML file. But what if you want to create the XML files on their own, like this scenario. So we have one here, we'll just take you through each row here like this. This video will help you to achieve that. So let's hop over to the code now, see what it's all about and see how you can uh, get, incorporate this into your project. So to start off, um, obviously we have a Python project here and I have a bit of logic here that I use in a previous video. We've tweaked it slightly to um, use this, use be used in this project. So essentially you got your import statements here, right? And I'll, these will become more relevant now in a section. In a second, should I say? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. So first step is to actually just read in the file. So we have Excel raw data city here, Excel XS, which is this file here. And essentially what that's doing is reading it into a pandas data frame. Next, what we want to do is create the root, create a root. And the root is basically saying uh, what's basically the, the data, how it's structured within the XML file. And the next set of lines from 12 here to 17, we'll just go you through these. So we're going to, we've created a loop here. And what the base of the loop is doing is it's looking at the raw data here, this here. And it's going to loop to each one. And then what it's basically doing is it's for each one, it's creating, creating a tag called export data. And for each line in the Excel file, then what it does is it populates in values for city, area, and population. So in this scenario, we've basically called column heading one. It's basically the et sub element, the root tags, city, area, and population. And then that's basically now the, the tag headings. So that would be if we were to go back here. That would be city here and it's closed here, area here, closed here, population here, closed here for each tag within the file. Okay, so then what we need to do is obviously populate in the actual row information for each tag uh, from the Excel file. So that's what that is. So these lines create the tags to populate the data in. All right, so once that's done, we actually need to populate in the values, okay? So the next thing what we're doing is we're basically uh, going and looking at the raw headings and then basically saying as we loop through each line, actually put in the value for each row. So it's basically saying here column heading one underscore one dot text when it's equal to city on that particular row, pull in the value for that particular row. Then when it's basically saying for the text two, uh, when it's equal to area, pull in the value for that on that particular row. And then for the third heading, the text, when it equals population, pull in the value. So to recap, this actually starts off the iteration here um, to loop in, down between the row and the file and basically create the tags to populate the data in. This section here then actually goes and then what it does is takes each line and then populates the data in for it. So it's now created the data, it's now, sorry, it's created the tags to populate it in, now it's actually reading in the data. Then um, this basically holds the information um, um, that basically will go into each root. This then basically um, will formats it but in a way that it's actually XML readable. So remember what we're trying to do here is create an XML file or files. And then what it's finally doing is uh, sends it out to the output.xml. So where we're at at the moment is we've got this file created, but the, obviously the objective here is to actually just create the individual files here. So how do we achieve that? Because that's ultimately what you're here to, to solve for. So when we go back to the code, our next step actually goes and looks at that output XML. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. It goes and looks at that output.xml and basically says, give me each section here and then create a new file. So let's look at the code for that. So essentially what it's first doing here is it's we're creating a variable called master file and we're basically saying we're iterating and parsing over 
this file output.xml. So it's important in this section here, obviously when you're creating, that whatever output file you've created actually is gonna be the input here so that we can loop over, but then pull out the individual sections to create the XML file that you need. So that's the first step. Then what we're doing is we're gonna be looping in a second. So we're basically creating just the base index, so we set it to zero. And then we're looking for ij in the master file, okay? And then basically here, it's basically what we're doing is j.tag equals export data. So essentially what it's doing is if the tag is equal to this value, it then will go and look at these values here and basically pull them in and basically populate it into the file. So that would basically run through the first, first tag for it says export data and looks at the start, the opening tag and the closing tag, pulls in the data, it would then basically write it into the actual file. Um, and basically in this scenario, we started at zero, it starts at scenario one here, okay? So if we look here, the first one here is export data, city Dublin, area castle not population 5,000, close the tag, export data. So if we go here, city Dublin, castle not population 5,000, close the, close the tag, export data. So essentially what it's done is it has created the XML file for you. And then basically if we go back in here, it loops through it. So each time it finishes that, it go, iterates up for up plus one. So it goes back to the next one. And then so we started off with one. So obviously as it moves through each, each uh, tags, it then creates two, three, so on and so forth. And this line here is basically writing um, the file basically name and basically creating it based on the information that has been passed through here. So at this point now where we're at is the actual files have now been created. So when we go back to the Excel file, as I said before, there are eight rows here, count eight, okay? We go back, there's eight distinct XML files have been created, seven, seven, eight, okay? And they've all got the distinct information for each row. So one last bit I have included here, I'll just go back here. Now, this last bit is optional. It's not required unless you really need it. Um, the creation of the output XML with all the, all the, um, the different tags gives us all the information in one file and then we're able to split it out. And that's how we're able to create eight separate individual files. But once we've gone through that process, we for the purposes of what we're trying to resolve here, the issue you're here for, or the programming, and what you want a program problem you want to resolve, we actually don't need this file. So what this line here does is it actually removes the file. So if we look here at the moment, we'll see out, output is there, right? So output's there 1st of August, 2022, eight minutes old three. So if I was to rerun this code, I'll just close this file first of all. If I was to rerun this here, okay, and let's just go back here. Let's just run that. This should finish in a second, hopefully. Okay, so that's process finished with exit code zero means process with no errors. If we go back in here, right, so we can see outputs there, it's in the folder, but now it's gone. So the whole purpose of this bit is we only need output docs XML to read in and capture all the data from the Excel file and create an XML it then becomes the input to the individual file. But really after that, its purpose and its use is nothing, it's irrelevant. So it's up to you. I've left it there purely to show you what to do. You can leave it in. You might want to leave it in in case there's a problem with your XML files and you can see was the problem in the original output.xml and then you can go back and troubleshoot and trace it all the way back to maybe fix the problem. But for me, I just get rid of it and what we're left with is just the eight files okay so that is essentially in a nutshell how you would create multiple xml files from an excel file that was read in into a, a temporary output.xml file which has all the information and then and that's split out again into multiple xml files so i hope you've enjoyed that day um growing the channel's grown we're now actually in excess of a thousand subscribers so i really appreciate everybody who's subscribed to the channel looks at the videos giving feedback questions keep it coming 
and more videos coming soon i'm just been very busy over the last while but i'm keeping this channel going and keep the videos going there's plenty for me to do and plenty for me videos to produce so hit that subscribe button and the alert and you'll see any new videos coming out so look after yourself hope you're all keeping well i'll catch you soon and take care bye bye